Everybody's joyous and carefree for vacations coming, and with that to look forward to, examinations don't count. Isn't that a happy frame of mind to be in? And oh, Daddy, I'm the happiest of all, because I'm not in the asylum anymore. I'm not anybody's nursemaid or typewriter or bookkeeper. I should have been, you know, except for you. I'm sorry now for all my past badnesses. I'm sorry I was ever impertinent to Mrs. Lippett. I'm sorry I ever slept Freddie Perkins. I'm sorry I ever filled the sugar bowl with salt. I'm sorry I ever made faces behind the trustees' backs. I'm going to be good and sweet and kind to everybody because I'm so happy. And this summer, I'm going to write and write and write and begin to be a great author. Isn't that an exalted stand to take? Oh, I'm developing a beautiful character. It droops a bit under cold and frost, but it does grow fast when the sun shines. That's the way with everybody. I don't agree with the theory that adversity and sorrow and disappointment develop moral strength. The happy people are the ones who are bubbling over with kindliness. I have no faith in misanthropes. Fine word, just learned it. You're not a misanthrope, are you, Daddy?